In today's guide we're going to talk about the Cronus by Multipick. Um, it's a lock picking tool. Uh, this is going to be a two part series so make sure you subscribe for the second half. Um, in the first half we're going to go through a little bit of theory of how it works and we're going to go through some practical examples and you're going to see it in action how it works. In the second part we're going to do a full unboxing of the the larger box that you can get of the Cronus um, and all the tools that you get with it, charger and all that sort of thing. But we're also going to go through the flip it tool, uh, the circular tensioner, uh, which are some really good tools that you get get with this. I'll just do the probably the easy ex example I can think of to explain how the Cronus works um, is the Newton's cradle sort of theory. Uh, so you know how the, the balls hit from side to side and the kinetic energy is passed from the furthest point to the furthest point. Um, and it's a very similar principle to what we're trying to achieve here. On the lock, when we put the Cronus in and activate it, when the needle strikes the driver, uh, when it strikes the key pin, the kinetic energy is, mo is passed to the driver pin which is behind it that is then forced up against the springs um, and if we manage and are quite lucky and hit all of the key pins at the same time and get all of the driver pins higher than the shear point then we're able to turn the lock as long as the key pins stay down as well so it's quite a lot to do with luck but the beauty of the tool is that you can strike many times within a few seconds. So we'll go on to show you some examples of exactly how that how that works. Okay, to put the Cronus together, we remove the back and try not to drop it this time. And as you can see, it says minus on the back. So we go to the minus terminal on the back of the unit. Put that in. Yeah, first time. Okay, on the front, as you can see, it's quite loud. Um, you have an Allen key there. It does come with an Allen key to undo it. At this point, I should have put the battery in after. I've got to try and avoid the power button now. But if you just reduce that a few turns, then you can put your needle in. I don't really know which way is better. I normally go that way around. And then I normally flick the pins towards this. Um, I, people say it doesn't really seem to make a difference, but that's just the way I do it. So that is fully working. And you can just about see how fast that's moving. Okay, just... Uh, I'll just show you this tool um, by pushing the so this is your tensioner or your circular tensioner by pushing this button here it moves uh, this holder that will be inserted into the keyway so by pushing that together I can insert that into the keyway and it's sprung held in place and now the outer side of it is sprung with tension. Notice the inside circle isn't spinning, but the outside is. Um, and that helps you to hold a bit of tension on there. This works exactly the same as a normal tensioner. Um, but it can just be a little bit easier because you can get a couple more fingers on it. Some, sometimes it's easier, sometimes it's not. And as I say, there, there are different sized heads for it, for different thicknesses of keyways can change okay so you can see obviously that lock is locked in the locked position um, now I've got to try and do this with on camera so locked and if you get some locks you will find they are very very easy to do Depending on the lock itself and how it's made up. There we go. 
very very easy on some locks on other locks not so much so this is just um, an unbranded lock um, it's a one two three four five pin um, and as you can see it was very very easy on that uh, if I get something else uh, so this Yale which is a 246 pin my contraption Try adjusting the just adjusting the throw. That can sometimes help. It can also increase your chances of snapping your needle as well, though that's the problem. Um, yeah, so in some locks it works really really well and is very very quick. In others it can take a little while, in others it just really doesn't work. Um, it all depends on your application. So now let's see how it is on a Yale 6 pin padlock. As you can see it's locked. I can't really show you the back. It's in place. Um, and as I was saying before, I normally flip the pins towards this. But with this particular lock, it prefers it the other way. I think it uh, needs a bit more force. So it's worth trying it different ways around. Um, right, let's try with the pick this time, uh, tensioner this time rather, to show you can use both. tension right with a camera in between you it's quite difficult There we go. So that's now open. Sometimes obviously it takes a little while. It's open. Yeah, so it's a Yale lock. So as you can see, the Cronus is an extremely powerful tool and can be, depending on the type of lock you're trying to pick. Subscribe for the second part of the series where we'll go through the flip it tool and the circular uh, tensioning tool in a bit more detail and everything else that's in the box. And also any comments or any other things you want us to show you about the Cronus. Thanks a lot.